Hello, Dave and Joan Maroney here, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the March for Life. Uh, last year, in 2019, we produced some posters. It's a double-sided poster. It has uh, Jesus, the Divine Mercy, on one side, and Our Lady of Guadalupe on the other. And the purpose is for the posters to be carried in uh, perhaps a March for Life in uh, Washington, D.C., or any the other March for Lives. Uh, you know, there's one out on the West Coast. That's very, They're all over the country. They're all over the country. So they were extremely popular. Last year, we got a lot of comments and feedback about how much they liked the poster, getting the image of Jesus and his mother out in the public square. So this year we we had the posters again, and Joan and I were in Austin at the Texas Rally for Life, and we had a table at the area there in front of the state capitol, and we have a a, a story. Joan's gonna gonna be telling it. We have a story about the posters on the morning of the event. Right. At first we thought we would distribute them from the table. Uh, out in front of the Capitol, but then we realized, well, there's a pro-life mass. It was a couple hours before that, and we would take them over there and distribute them after the mass. And we had about four or 500 posters with us. And so we thought, well, the best thing to do is we'll sit toward the back of the church and we'll distribute them as the, the young people leave and uh, make their way over to the march. And as we were praying, getting ready for Mass, I was thinking, oh my goodness, I never had these images blessed. We sent images, thousands of images went across the United States. They were distributed in D.C., in in, uh, in Dallas, in, in the L.A. area, and all other places people called. And every time I would ship them out, I would put a note in there reminding, please have these blessed before you carry them in, in your march so that the rays would go out and touch the hearts of all the people. So they'll be activated. Yeah, yes. they'll be activated, like we like to say. This is the whole hope, that he is going to touch their hearts, um, that, that he is is going to reach them and bless them with his mercy and, and open them up to, to the, the truth of the value of life. Anyway, so here I'm sitting there going, I tell everybody else to do this. But I didn't do it, and I'm beating myself up. What? Yeah, <laughs> not literally, but uh, and then I was even looking to see if I could find a priest walking around. Maybe I can make my way to the sacristy and say, "Father, can you come and bless these?" But I thought it's the last thing they need. There was a lot of things going on and a lot of people, and I just decided, well, you know what? They'll be blessed at the end of mass because we always get a final blessing, and and we'll just be there. And, and as Saint Faustina said, as long as I do everything that's within my power. The rest is not my business, and I'll just have to be more prepared next year. As we're going through Mass, I had this vision. I thought, oh, with all these, and they're in big, heavy boxes. The the posters are quite heavy, and I thought, wouldn't it have been cool if we had, like, a big cart and had thousands of them, and we wheeled them down the center aisle at the end of Mass, and we could have coordinated all this ahead of time, and then Father make a big deal and bless them so that all the young people could see we have these fabulous posters. We've got these beautiful images of the divine mercy and he would bless them. And then we would wheel them out and then everybody would want them. And I'm kind of laughing at myself, but thinking, you know what, we need to plan for this for next year. And maybe this is giving some of you some ideas on how to get the images out there and and these beautiful posters. And then I'm thinking there's 800 or a thousand people. We're going to be mobbed and we need to be at all the different exits in the row behind us. The last row Uh, piled in a group of college kids. And I thought, maybe they'll help. Maybe they'll help. All right, so we go through Mass. It's a beautiful Mass. And at the the conclusion, uh, we go to communion, and I'm thinking, all right, we're going to have to grab these images and get outside and get ready to pass them out. But before we do, Father says, okay, what I'd like to do now before I dismiss you, he says, if anybody out there has anything they would like to have blessed, bring it up here now, and we will bless it. And I... I was stunned. I just sat there and I looked around and I popped up in our pew and our whole team was looking, what is she doing? What is she doing? Get the posters, get the posters. (laughs) It was really something. It was like a spur of the moment. (laughs) Oh, oh, we can get them blessed. And they were in boxes. And so we were like trying to tear the boxes open and they're all beautifully wrapped and everything. And so the the kids sitting behind us, these young college students from Texas A&M here in Texas, they they said, uh, can we help? 
I didn't even have to ask. And they said, I said, yes, you can help. And they just got after it. And they started opening them up, grabbing the posters, and everybody marched up front with the posters. And Father was had the holy water out and was blessing them. So, of course, uh, I was in the back because I was trying to clean up the mess. But Dave went up front with, with a, a, a bunch but of posters. and The ones I had were still in a box. So here we come with the posters, and there's a little bit of commotion in the back. Well, it's like a big procession because yeah. all these people are coming from the back. So everybody's looking at what are these people doing? <laughs> <laughs> and so Father, before he blesses, he goes, oh, and what's in the boxes? And so I pulled one of the posters out, you know, and so I'm down front. And so everybody in the church can see now what they are. And he goes, oh, okay, great. You know, so I, we, we hold our, our boxes and posters up and he gives the blessing. I couldn't believe it. So then everybody comes back. Father's giving the final blessing. And so the, the, the college students say... You know, I said, can you help now distribute these? And they're like, sure, 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 give us a... And they all grabbed a stack, and we all grabbed a stack. And as everybody came out, I mean, we were mobbed. We could have gotten rid of a 1,000. We, we should have doubled. I was kicking myself. I didn't bring more, but we really didn't know what to expect, except that we're so thankful that God heard my prayer. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> I'll say. It That's was, for sure. And then we just had a couple left, and we were grasping them because we said, well, we need to take these to our table because now we're going to have this table on the promenade. That's, Down from the capital, the state capital. Right. Cap. We had information there on Divine Mercy and Divine Mercy for America. So it would have been nice to have a couple posters there to show people what we have available. But I was like, you know what? Just go ahead and let go of them. Let go of them. Let the people have them because if they want them, give them to them and carry them and we'll be all right. Well, here's this. And the next miracle is we we uh, leave to drive over to the Capitol. I open up the van door and what's sitting on my front seat is another pack of 50 of the posters. So we did have some, <laughs> after all, to take with us to the uh, our table at the Capitol. And, and that was important too, because we met people there from other parts of the state, from the Diocese of Victoria, although this was on the weekend, it was uh, Saturday, they were having their march on Thursday. So a lady came there and she said, we'd love to have these. And she took a couple, but I said, you know what, I will ship you. And we ended up shipping her 400 more posters from our warehouse so they could have them in time Praise for Thursday. God. Yeah. Wow. And then another big group came from the southern tip of Texas, the Brownsville Diocese, and they said, we're not having our march until February 8th, and we'd love to distribute these. And so it turns out that we sent a thousand posters down there. So this next weekend, posters will still be distributed and the We March with Christ for Life will still be used. So if any of you are out there and still have uh, pro-life events coming, we still have We March with Christ for Life posters. And, and also, not just we march with Christ posters, but we also have a version of it that, that says we stand with Christ. So uh, all year round, for those that go to the abortion mills to, uh, to, to have a prayer vigil and you're standing there you know, on the sidewalk outside uh, the facility, then you can hold this, this poster. And this is why we have them. You know, when we talked about getting these posters out, because we remember that Jesus said, I want everyone to have access to this image, no one to be excluded excluded, and that he will be the one that will touch their hearts, as I said earlier. Well, we saw that happen at our table. You know, there's a lot of people milling around the Capitol. There's a people that are visitors. There's just Austinites that are there, college students that are there from all different walks of life. And there were several people that I saw standing across the way and looking at our table that had the image. We had a big image of Jesus and just staring and staring. And then they would slowly walk over uh, to our table. It was like Jesus was like had a fishing pole or something. He was reeling them in and they come over. One young man in particular, he was in his late 20s and he had been there for quite a while. And and, and then I said, was another lady who was there at the table finally walked away. And I said, so uh, hi, are you familiar with Divine Mercy? He goes, no, not really. I said, well, are you Catholic? Are you Christian? He said, well, I was baptized a Catholic. He goes, but I've never gone to church. And he just stood there looking. I said, well, Jesus wants you to come to church, and he's in the Holy Catholic Church, and he's truly in the tabernacle, and he wants to be part of your life, and he wants to come inside of you. He wants to help you be the best that you can be, to give you strength for whatever problems you have, to give you wisdom, knowledge, understanding, all the gifts of the Spirit, and it allowed us to have this beautiful conversation, and I could see that the Lord was calling him. Another was a young woman, a young mother, and she said, well, she had been baptized Catholic, but she wasn't Catholic anymore. She was just Christian. And I said, well, you're both, and she goes, and I've been away from the church, and but I'm getting back to now and having God in my life, and 
and and I love being a Christian. I said, well, you're a Christian. All Catholics are Christian, but the greatest, the wonderful gift about being Catholic above and beyond just being Christian is that, you know what, you have the opportunity to go to Holy Communion. You have the opportunity to put God right inside of you. You have the opportunity to go to confession, to get his counsel, to get his blessing, to be forgiven of your sins, to be strengthened, to overcome your sinfulness. Just, that's what my grandma's always telling me. <laughs> Thank God for grandmas. <laughs> Thank God for grandmas. And so this is very timely because the month of February is a time to have special devotion even more to the image because it, it uh, in February... February 22nd in 1931 is when Jesus appeared to St. Faustina in her room as she was getting ready to go to bed. And uh, there he was with these rays coming forth uh, from his heart. She was just struck with awe. You can imagine Jesus there in his heavenly glory right right there. And, and so finally Jesus said, paint an image according to the pattern you see with the signature, Jesus, I trust in you. So February for us, our theme for the month, so to speak, is the image of the divine mercy. So we want to do everything we can to follow his command. Uh, you know, I want everyone to have access to this image, no one to be excluded. So get those holy cards out there, visit our website, our store, pick them up wherever you can, have them blessed. As we said, then they're activated and uh let Jesus touch their hearts like what we heard in these stories. So God bless all of you um, who help support our apostolate and our ministry, all of you who pray for us, all of you who have sent in your donations to help us distribute these images, um, all of you who have ordered images to fill busloads of kids coming from all over the nation, either for their local walks or you know the national walks. And we want this to be even more successful next year. We have a video that shows what happened in D.C., and you can see there's lots of great signs, but we've got to bring Jesus and his mother to be in the middle of all of it because there's no greater blessing than that. That's right, Joni. We hope you enjoyed uh, this little talk, and God bless you. And God bless America, America. because of you. Because of you. Amen. Amen.